What's up people, this is Fluffy Bunny, Viva La Android. Today, I have a photo editing tutorial since a lot of you asked for this one. I posted a picture on Instagram and a lot of you liked it, you guys wanna know how to do it. So here's my tutorial for it. It's the galaxy hair. But before we get started, here are the top Instagram pictures of the week. Hashtag it as Viva La Android. When you guys are done with this picture editing it, just hashtag it as Viva La Android on Instagram. I'll check it out and put it on my next video. So the first and only app you're gonna need is Photoshop Touch. I'll have a link for it down in the description of the video. And you're gonna wanna take a picture that has a full white background of you. So go stand next to a wall or anything that has a white background and take a picture over there. So for an example, this is a picture I took. As you can see, it's a white wall behind me. You can even see the mop right here. <laughs> so this one wasn't like full white. It was like a milkish white color, but that'll do too. Just something close to a white color. And so take a picture and let's zoom in right here and then from here you want to go into these options right here so these options right here we're gonna configure to make the white background and you're gonna have to make this picture black and white you don't really have to but it looks nicer if you do because it makes a galaxy pop out so the first thing we're gonna do is put black and white after that you want to go to the same settings and you want to click brightness and contrast you want to make the white background as bright as you can so to the point where it's really white and then to the point where you still see your body and your face and the same thing with the contrast just not too much and then one last thing right here you want to go into and then one last thing right here you want to go into shadows and highlights and from here the first one is called darks you want to bring the darks down and try to make the darks as dark as you can try to keep it looking natural so the darker it is the better the galaxy would look on your hair and then you got all these options down here to mess around with the shadows the lights and the highlights so i'm gonna bring my shadows down almost 50 percent the lights i'm gonna bring up and that should do and now we got this button over here you want to click this and then go into the plus sign and then add photo layer photo library and I'll be supplying you with a couple of galaxy pictures in the description down below I'll also be supplying the one that I'm gonna use in this video so you want to take your picture and just wait for it to load so it's loaded right there just click check keep on top of the picture so now the bottom over here you want to click this again and make sure that's selected right there and then click this layer option and change normal all the way up to screen and that should do right there Make sure that's selected again. You want to click the end logo right there. You want to go to transform. And now you can move it around your hair or your body, wherever you want. But I prefer the hair. So for this one, I'm actually going to just turn it this way. Zoom back in and put it on top like that. So that looks better. You want to click check after you're done. Now if you see that, it gives it that fading effect. Kind of like a smoky galaxy. And make sure the highlight starts at the tip of your hair if you're turning sideways. If you're pointing frontwards, you can put two galaxies, one from this side, one from that side. Or you can just get creative with it. And now you're basically done, but if you want to keep going with the galaxies and adding more on your body, you can still do that. But I just stopped right here since it looked good. And now, once the galaxy is selected, you can actually put effects on top of it, like the shadows and highlights. You can click that. And if you bring that up and down, it will match to your picture more. But you get the point, you can put effects on both pictures. So that looks good right there. And I'm going to just go back, click save. And if you want to save this picture, make sure to click this button right there. Click save to gallery, select this picture and click OK. And now it's going to save it in a folder called Adobe Photoshop Touch. And that's it to this tutorial. A lot of you asked for it, so here it is. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Here's the top comment of the week right here. If you guys got something to say, anything, if you guys want to say something, tell me something, leave a suggestion, next video options, anything, leave it down in the comment section below and I'll read every single comment. And like always, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to share it so someone else doesn't end up switching to iOS. Let's keep everyone on the Android side. And like always, make sure to subscribe and Android for life. Peace. Take me back, take me back, man, I miss it Home was our kingdom, and we were little princes Hit up the homies when I'm back, sure we'll kick it Travel back in time, so let me buy my tickets Slow down, slow down, let me reminisce Set me free, set me free, my deliverance Sometimes I wish I can turn back the clock And press pause for a second, and let the time stop